Hola, hola, Senor Sharm here again with your next tip, tech tip. Today, I'd love to talk a little bit about the Schoology kiosk. Schoology has been revolutionary for me in my classroom over the last few years, as I've been able to use it to push out assignments, to allow students to take um, assessments, um, and to use it as a way for students to find a one-stop shop for all of their activities, daily assignments, assessments. And it's been really wonderful to use on a daily basis. However, when uh, we take assessments, for example, or when we are doing activities in class using the internet, for example, um, one issue that does sometimes come up is students aren't always as academically honest as you would always hope they would be. So one of the things that I've run into issues with is while taking assessments on Schoology or doing, doing work in Schoology is students sometimes find their way on websites they're not supposed to be on. And this is a concern for all of us in all disciplines. So let me tell you a little bit about the Schoology kiosk and some of the benefits of it and how it can help you make sure that you are using Schoology to its utmost potential um, on a daily basis. So first off, why the Schoology kiosk? What are the advantages? Number one, like I was mentioning, it's a secure platform uh, from which um, to have students take assessments. Um, I do a lot of my quizzes and even my summative assessments as well. So whether it's formative or summative, I do those all through Schoology. Um, it's an opportunity for me to go paperless in my classroom and it's an opportunity for students to take assessments um, right there on their Chromebooks whenever they are in class. However, like I mentioned, they're not always as academically honest as you would hope. In my particular discipline of Spanish, Google Translate is the enemy. So more times than I would like to admit, I have caught students trying um, to use Google Translate and finding their way to a different tab, finding their way to a different window and using those during an exam. So they don't always understand how it's wrong. So what we need to do is not put them in that situation and allow them to make sure that they have an opportunity to uh, make good choices or not have the temptation to make a bad choice. So school G kiosk eliminates that, eliminates that. The internet disappears. They are in an app of Schoology where you can give all the assessments that you normally give, but there's no way that for them to get out of that app and get into any other um, tabs, websites, et cetera. Additionally, it just keeps kids off websites you don't want them on. So you can have them log into the Schoology kiosk anytime you want them to. If they're working on a project, they're working on assignments, they're creating something. Uh, this way, you can limit their distractions. So they're not playing games, they're not um, going to YouTube and watching a cat video or something. So it's a great opportunity for them to stay focused. And that's what we want our kids to do is stay focused and utilize all the time we can when we're with them. So how do you do it and how does it work? Well, basically it's just a different way to log into Schoology. So here are the specific steps. Um, instead of logging into the Chromebook as usual, the students will log in through what's called the Schoology Kiosk app. Uh, the Schoology Kiosk app is basically located in the lower left hand corner of their login screen when they open up their Chromebook. Um, and then what they do is they click on that and have a little drop up menu to the Schoology Kiosk app, in which case then they go to the SSO login. And I'll kind of show you what this looks like in just a second. Um, they, search, they search our school, West Aurora High School, by searching the 60506 postal code, and they find West Aurora High School and click on the green arrow. Basically then they sign in with the um, SSO, a uh, single sign in, um, credentials, and then they're ready to go. So I know there's a lot of steps, so let's just see those steps in action and see how exactly that works. I'll kind of walk you through it. So as a student opens up their Chromebook, basically what they're gonna do is instead of logging in like normal in the box there, they're gonna go down here to the lower left, you see that, where it says apps, they drop up to something called the Schoology Kiosk app. Go ahead and click on that. Gives it a second for them to log into this app, which is gonna be kind of a separate Once that opens up, what they're going to do is instead of logging in right away, you have to make sure they don't log in right away. They're going to go to something called the SSO login. It's right there. It's a little blue button and they click on that. And this is where they're going to go ahead and um, put in the postal code 60506, the zip code, and they're going to go down to West Aurora High School. Make sure that's not West Aurora School District 129, but West Aurora High School. Click on it and basically then press login. And this is what the students are doing on their Chromebooks. And you just tell them today, we're going to log in through the School G Kiosk app. And then they go ahead and log in through that. They'll put in their school ID, email, and uh, passcode as necessary. This is uh, me putting it into uh, Chromebook, my login. And then basically what it does is it gets you right into Schoology. But what you're going to notice 
is that it looks just like Schoology, but there's no way for them to do anything else. Along the top, there are no additional tabs they can open. It's just simply a Schoology app that they just can be in Schoology and only Schoology and they can't go anywhere else. So I'm gonna to go to a, a sample page here, my Spanish 2 page. This is where I put all my assignments and all my assessments. Um, this is where they can go for anything they need, resources, et cetera. We're gonna take a quiz. This is a quiz, a Schoology quiz I've created. It's just a quick formative assessment, just a quick check to see um, how they're coming along in their vocabulary. And notice at the top there, there's no way for them to try and go to Google Translate. There's no way for them to go to their study guide or their Quizlet or another site where all the answers would be. They have to take it with fidelity. So basically they'll go through the test. There's nowhere else to go and they're just gonna take the test and that's gonna be it. And we know that they've had a true valid um, exam that they, or assessment that they haven't had any opportunity to be academically dishonest. So we take that out of the equation and we have a more true grade and we give them an opportunity to be successful and not put them in that situation. So that's kind of how it works. It's pretty simple. Um, basically, it's just something that I think that's it will be something that will really help you as you're working your way through learning Schoology and working your way through helping your kids with their Chromebooks. Look for more tech tips on how to create Schoology quizzes, use Google Suite, implement fun formative assessments, and make lessons more engaging and student-centered. Uh, feel free to shoot me a message and come visit me if you have any questions, asharm at sd129.org. And remember, don't be afraid, afraid to try something new. It may just be much better for the kids and make your life much more efficient too. Thanks, adios.